Hello and welcome to the interview here on France 24. Our guest today is the Deputy Foreign Minister of Belarus, Elena Kupshina. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. And thank you for allowing us to talk about uh, your country, Belarus. It has a bad, some would even say a very bad reputation in the Western world. It is often called the last dictatorship in Europe. Mm -hmm. Is it the last dictatorship in Europe? You know, I'm really pleased to be here and to give the uh, French public um, some more understanding, maybe different understanding of the situation in my country and uh, some information about my country. You know, country uh, is a European one. I mean, I'm speaking about Belarus. This is a country which is uh, connected with Europe by a million of connections and ties, you know, by our history, by our culture. We are deeply, deeply uh, within European civilization, you know. The only problem is that we have, we had very difficult and painful history because we are on the civilizational crossroads, crossroads between East and West. A lot of wars were just coming uh, uh, around our territory, across our territory, you know, and because of this, you know, uh, the uh, uh, process of creating our statehood is still underway. Now, uh, after 20 years of our independence, each and every Belarusian, first of all, uh, can say that we are a nation, European nation. So, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, that being said, uh, the country yeah. is under EU sanctions uh -huh. uh, because of a crackdown following uh, the last presidential election in mm -hmm. December 2010, when uh, the opposition was harassed, jailed sometimes. Yeah. There are a number of uh, Belarus individuals and companies who were slapped with an asset freeze, mm -hmm. a travel ban. So the message seems to be that things are getting even more difficult for democracy in the last few years, that uh, the, there's no progress anymore, that actually it's going backwards. You know, even my contacts uh, uh, with my colleagues from Europe, they show uh, that a situation is not so bad, because even now European Union understands that sanctions, they lead nowhere. And Belarus is undergoing its democratization process, because our own, uh, our goal with, uh, of our own state and EU goal as the, for the future of uh, Belarus as a state is the same. We would like to have EU and Belarus, we would like to have Belarus as European, sovereign, modern, democratic state. We have differences as to the means how to achieve this goal and as to the pace of the process. Would you describe Belarus as a dictatorship today? No, of course what, not. What's your, as a democracy? Uh, yes, it is our type of democracy, what you know. We are, we are just moving towards democracy. We are still country in transition towards democracy. This is in, in terms of political life, you know. But as to the economic life, we already achieved uh, impressive results, you know, in, especially in comparison with our uh, partners is in the CIS, you know. Uh, in 2012, as a result, our GDP growth was 1.5% 1, 1 in comparison with 2011. You know, we've got unemployment just 0.5%. You can compare it with uh, the unemployment in France or in Europe. So we are created and we already created a social state with very high uh, level of social insurance. But, but do you share the impression uh, that there are abuses in terms of human rights, that Belarus is very harsh on people who do not agree with the president or the government? I will agree that we are not perfect and we've got our problems also in the human rights sphere, you know, but we are eager together with our European partners, to overcome this problem. Should the sanctions be lifted? They, sh they shall, they should stop. Why? The situation be has not really improved. Because so. they, it is improving. You know, during our parliamentary elections, which took place um, uh, last autumn, you know, we invited OEC observers to observe the electoral process. And their report, for the first time during the whole history of our electoral campaigns, was not bad. There was no uh, um, uh, conclusion that the elections, they didn't meet OEC standards. There were a lot of uh, uh, 
problems which were uh, unregistered, you know. But anyway, you know, there were a lot of positive remarks. So we are improving. Why to sanction the country which has desire, sincere desire to improve, but according its own pace, you know? Sanctions, I will tell you it as not as Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs, but as Belarusian, they made already grave damage as to the confidence between our people and European peoples, you know. In our public opinion now, uh, in a European country, because we are natural partner and natural neighbor of EU, you know, in our public opinion, sanctions now are associated with the EU democratic rhetoric, you know. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, you understand. Uh, just one last question on the political issue. Yeah. Uh, President Lukashenko has been in power now for nearly 20 years. Yes. There are some rumors that maybe he would like someone in his family or his son to succeed him. And obviously his image is not a good one in, in mm -hmm. the West, often associated with uh, dictators around the world. Do you think that he is eager to leave power and not leave it to his son or to his family? Our president just a few days ago gave an interview, I guess, to uh, Russia, uh, 24, uh, Russia 24. He told very explicitly that he will never try to uh, make uh, somebody from his family as his successor. He said it explicitly, you know. And uh, uh, President Lukashenko, which is not well understood in the uh, West, he is a nation builder for us. You know, and the process of creation a nation is a very painful one. You have already overcome this process. Our neighbors also did it. We are still in the process. This is the issue. But some people don't understand some of the things, some of the more remarks he made. He made remarks about yeah. gay men recently, uh, saying, you know, he could understand gay women, but not gay men. This is perceived as someone who's not modern. What's your reaction? Uh, you know, uh, our Belarusian society is based on Christianity uh, values. And we are quite profound uh, on this, you know. And by the way, um, I don't know whether you know or not, uh, Belarus is the one country in Europe, I guess, or even in the world, where two Easter's, two Christmases are celebrated uh, 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 on equal basis, Orthodox and Catholic, you know. So we've got plenty of religious holidays and, you know, uh, uh, interconfessional peace during the whole history of our country. So. We are in favor of Christian values, and I, I, I am not thinking that that is bad. Uh, on the economic situation, yeah. uh, there are, though, problems. You said the situation is good, but you have to pay, I think, $3.1 billion in foreign uh, debt this year. Yeah. And you're hoping that Russia will help you. Russia is clearly for you a partner, because without Russia, Belarus could not survive economically. Of course, Russia is our uh, closest partner, uh, and uh, this is the help of Russia which uh, uh, makes us survive all this difficult situation. But uh, economically speaking, we are also a quite uh, a well developing country because we inherited and managed to uh, preserve industrial uh, capacity uh, from the Soviet times. We are highly industrialized. Isn't it too old? No. By the way, now the top priority slogan, slogan in our economic uh, policy is modernization, you know. And, by the way, here we see the crucial role that European Union can play uh, as a source of innovations, as a source of technologies, as a source of uh, investment to, to my country. Because it, the fact that the EU has sanctions against you, and obviously there's not, not much economic relations, means that you're even more dependent on Russia, politically maybe, and economically at least. I will tell you that uh, despite all sanctions, last year our uh, bilateral trade over with EU counted $27 billion, could you imagine? And uh, also, uh, Russia is our number one trade partner with $44 billion of trade over. Our export uh, to EU counts 38% and to Russia 35%. So EU is a number one partner for Belarus as to the export. Would you, you know? say, that's my last question, that because of what you just described, there are economic ties, but politically the situation is in a deep freeze. Would you say the EU is being hypocritical because it makes money with Belarus, but it doesn't want Belarus uh, officials to visit because of sanctions. 
You know, of course, there are some, uh, I don't like this expression, but double, uh, double standards. I don't want to believe that EU is hypocritical. I hope very much, and here I'm speaking like vice minister, you know, uh, that EU hasn't understood yet uh, the situation, the real situation uh, of Belarus, and our sincere aspiration to uh, continue to be natural partner of, Bel of, of EU. You know, because we are a kind of recognized donor, if, I'm, if I'm, I may put it in such a way, uh, um, uh, to EU or European security, to European uh, uh, sustainable development in terms of, you know, uh, combating organized crime, uh, in managing irregular migration, in customs, in transport uh, uh, matters. So we are bound to be neighbors and we are bound to be in one Europe. Very quickly, last question. Yeah. Don't you think a gesture on human rights by the president would be a key to making this image change? You know, we already made a lot of gestures on, on, on this type. When in September 2011, 27 or 28 so-called political prisoners were released as a gesture of goodwill on, on our part, two weeks later, there was a severe strengthening of EU sanctions. How to react to this situation? You can check it. This is in our dossier. So, but we are eager to start meaningful dialogue with EU, and this is the main uh, uh, issue. But it needs two to tango, you know. We need to see the, uh, the same uh, desire on EU part. Okay, uh, Elena Kupchina, that's all we have time for. Thank you for coming on the France 24 interview, and thank you all thank for you. watching it. Stay tuned here for more news. Thank <laughs> you.